and I got really, really, really depressed yesterday and just typed horror into the search bar in Steam and uh, scrolled until I found something that I enjoyed. But we're gonna try this game out. I don't really know much about it other than it's a role-playing game and you like get back from some major surgery and your mother is suddenly replaced by a mannequin who insists it's your mother. I don't know how that's meant to be like a horror game, but I don't know. We're going to find out. It's Oh, this is going to be hard. Left click on objects to interact. Okay. How far will it let me look this way? Can I get out of the car? Nope. Oh, sorry, Leanna. I didn't mean to wake you. I must have been thinking out loud again. Good timing. We're almost there. I know that the surgery took a lot out of you, but I think getting you back home will make all the difference. It's important for you to be with mother, to remind you of how things used to be. If all goes well, I have faith that you'll be back to your old self by the end of next week, by the end of the week. You've been through a lot. What have I been through? I'm just glad we got you out of that place. It wasn't good for your head. You're literally supposed to be a mannequin. Let me see your face. You know, Leanna? Father turns down the radio. I have a good feeling about this week. I know I've been so busy at work recently. To tell you the truth, it shames me that I don't have as much time to see my family as I used to. But I just want you to know something. Everything we do is for you. 
I'll give you a call on Thursday evening. Remember to keep an ear out for my call. Today's Sunday evening. So Thursday evening, I have to accept a call. Oh, that's another thing I know about this. Apparently it takes place over like the span of a week. The house is just up here on the right. What was that sound? That was me hitting the cement floor. Unnecessary jump scare. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I know I'm a little horny. <laughs> the house is just up here on the right. Just in time for nightfall. Well, here we are. The storm has picked up, so you'd better run in before you get soaked. Press shift to run. If it's too dark in there, be sure to look for light switches. Ah, oh, fuck. This is gonna be hard. Oh, I almost forgot your mother left a box for me somewhere in there. Could you bring it out to me before you head to bed? I'll be waiting right here. So I have to go in there, find a box, bring it out to him. This is insane. That's a creepy looking house, but whatever. Oh, ah, oh, man, I have regrets. All right, let's go. That's a light switch. Fuck, don't be in the kitchen at midnight. No good can come of this. I feel like unless the jump scares are like extremely in my face, I'm not even going to recognize them because I won't see them. But I've been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. You do not need to sit. <laughs> you do not need to watch TV. Well, where's the damn box that he wanted?
Yo, fuck keyboard games. This fridge contains food. You do not need to eat. Rude. <laughs> okay. So what's down here? Oh, just the end of the hallway with a creepy little door. Door handle. Hmm. It won't let me do anything with the door handle. Let's try upstairs. Ooh, bathroom. Okay. Why is the mirror like that? The mirror has been covered with tape. It is for your own good. You do not need to go. What about the window? I want to look out the window so bad. Now my dog's barking outside. Leanna's room. Stay out or face my wrath. That would be my room. the light switch father wanted you to bring a box out to him you cannot sleep until he gets it it should be somewhere in the house. That's so vague. I'm looking for a box. This is your desk. Thank you.
Nope, still can't look out windows. What's in here? Looks creepy. Nothing. Can we check under the bed? Nope. Is it still Sunday? Sunday night, yep. That one won't open. Hey Fire, can you Google where this box is? I am not allowed to enter his room. Ooh, that's creepy. Okay. I mean, like, I know some families are like that, but, uh... Really? Yes. Because when I Google, where is the box in Mother? It shows up Mother box stuff from the DC universe. Huh. It's been covered extensively by the DC universe in every combination. You're never going to even find something like that. We'll just have to keep looking. There's the phone. You pick up the phone, but nobody's there. You put down the phone. You do not need to sit. Is there a box anywhere on like the counter? The table anywhere? You do not need to sit. Is that a box? You do not need to watch TV. Hey, South Wardski, what's up? Trying to not starve at work. What do you wish you had right now? There's a box. I found the box. Father wants you to bring it out to him. You pick up the box. It's quite heavy. Hey, Fire, I found the box. Good. I think it took me an entire in game day, but. I'm just going to leave my front door open. Is 
Is that where I needed to go? Nope. Can't have been. Grilled hot dogs or pizza? Those are good choices. Holy crap, it's so dark. I feel like this is the right way though. Man, I've been wrong before. There is no indication of where to go. That's the house. Right? Yes. So where did I come from? Hmm. It still says Sunday night. There's light coming from there. Is that where I'm supposed to go? That's the car. Damn it. Okay. I see where I've I see where I've gone wrong. Bear with me, I'm terrible at these controls. Holy fucking headlights. Great, you found it. You give dad the box. Achievement unlocked, what's in the box? Be sure to say hi to your mom for me, okay? And please be patient with her. She's been through more than any of us. I'd give you a hug, but... I can't let you see my face. It wouldn't be safe. Looks like the storm is picking up. You'd better run in and get to bed. I'll be sure to call on Thursday night. Good night. Okay, so he's going to call on Thursday night. And I'm going to go and put myself to bed. I wonder how old my character is.
Come on. No, I don't close the doors behind me. Is that my room? You knock on the door. You hear what appears to be crying. It is none of your business. I'm curious though. Man, all right, I'll go to sleep. Even though this is bullshit. You have traveled far today. You are exhausted. You climb into bed and go to sleep. You know, I wake up every day and it's just as jarring as that just was. It's okay, we will slightly judge you for the controls. <laughs> Let's see. Everything appears to be very, you know, happy and Monday morning is just, I am not allowed to enter his room. Okay. I'm leaving the light switches on forever. You do not need to go. The mirror has been covered with tape. It is for your own good. Where is mother? I'm, th I'm thinking of Coraline. She's probably downstairs making breakfast. Shit. I hate being right. The music got mad creepy. It's so quiet. I'm gonna tap her. Good morning, Leanna. It's me. Your mother. Apologies again for my absence last night. I needed to take care of something. I know what you may be thinking. And you don't have anything to worry about. You're home now. That's the most important thing. What has happened? But anyway, I do hope you slept comfortably. I understand that you may be feeling a bit confused after your operation. You've been through a lot, Leanna. But as I'm sure you noticed, your room was kept just the way it was when you left. After all, we wouldn't want to face your wrath, would we? I always loved that little sign on your door. It's so you. I hope that being back in your own room made you feel a little more comfortable. For today, I think you should just take it easy. Catch up with your dear old mother. 
First things first, I've prepared breakfast for you. It's over there on the table. It's your favorite. Why do they always start like this? Where's the table? No, that's a cabinet. Nutrients. Your favorite. Monday afternoon. You ingested all of the nutrients. God, she's just in corners. That's very clearly a mannequin. You do not need to watch TV. You ate that whole thing. That's interesting. So I understand that your memory may not be intact after your operation. And so I was thinking it could perhaps be helpful if I was to show you around the house. Maybe if you got a tour of the house you grew up in, it could speed up your recovery. Okay, feel free to explore the house. Can I? Because so far, I've not been allowed in like several rooms. Oh, how'd she do that? She's everywhere. Charcoal. I grow with charcoal. I don't trust propane, which is ironic now that I have a giant ass propane tank in my backyard. Yo, okay, I have a funny story actually about charcoal and chicken. So, Fire and I got really drunk off beer margaritas and decided to grill. And we sat outside grilling for I shit you not. What was it, three or four hours? Oh, yeah. We grilled the same piece of chicken for three or four hours. That thing was burnt to a crisp and we ate it. We were so hungry after day drinking. Like, it was delicious too. <laughs> but that's my funny charcoal story. Uh, we woke up afterwards hung over. Maybe because hunger. Yeah, but it was burnt to a crisp. It was like eating charcoal briquettes. Like when we woke up afterwards hungover, we tasted ash in our mouths. It was terrible. We, we destroyed chicken that day. The downstairs bathroom has been boarded up. It was broken, so we thought it was best to not let anyone in. I know how much you used to love getting into places you shouldn't be. 
You must not try to break in here. Then again, it's not like you ever listen to us. You always were a rebellious one. Were? But this is for your own good. After all, we don't want you flooding the place. That would be a nightmare. What age am I meant to be? Anyway, we meet me upstairs and we'll check on that brother of yours. I have a brother? Is the brother alive? Is the brother just as fucking creepy? Oh, God. <sighs> Honey. Oh, I have great news. You're... Oh, fuck. I missed it. She's creeping me out, man. He's been quiet ever since you got sick. How am I sick? Now he spends all his time on his computer talking with others like him. We never get to talk anymore. And whenever we do, he may as well be speaking another language. It's like he's in a completely different world. But our boy is very smart for his age, that's for sure. What age is he? If you ever need advice, I'm sure he wouldn't mind you knocking on his door. He'll never allow you to go in, however. Okay, let's move on. Okay. I want to try knocking on his door. You knock on the door. There was no answer. Okay, moving on. Ah. They're not even good jump scares. The smell of the evening, as I said, downstairs one is boarded up, and you are forbidden from entering. You really have to go. Also, I hope you don't mind. Had to cover all the mirrors. It is again for your own good. How sick have I been? What am I sick with? This is... This is getting weird. And there she is again. She didn't get me that time. Something to this door. It leads to mine and your father's room. You are not to enter this door. We keep it locked. But we trust that isn't necessary. We have trust in this family. That concludes our tour. Monday evening. Mother has left. Her trust was sorely misplaced. I am, from, I am forbidden from entering mother and father's room. Damn, I'm a goody two shoes.
What's the bedroom like? Not much. This is your desk. Well spotted. Yeah, let's turn on all the fucking lights. I don't give a shit. I'm a scaredy cat. This is your wardrobe. It contains clothes. It's not time to sleep. It is Monday evening though. You do not need to go. The mirror has been covered up with tape. It is for your own good. Let me do things. You do not need to use the sink. Let's go knock on my brother's room. You knock on the door. There was no answer. Where is she? She's always around somewhere. You do not need to watch TV. Then why is it there? Oh yeah, we're trying it. You are forbidden from attempting to open this door. All right, it's just going to not let me. I'm trying everything I can. You pick up the phone, but nobody's there. You put down the phone. She's outside. Leanna, you startled me. You startled me. You weren't meant to sneak up on me like that. Oh, this is marvelous. How very special. You always used to love sneaking up and spooking me. Oh, it's starting to look like you're getting back to your old self. I used to do that to my mother all the time. Grandmother, too. Who knows, maybe getting a tour of the house helped recover some of your memories. Okay, I tell you what, tomorrow we'll do, we'll go take a look around the outside of the house. I'm certain that once you see where you grew up, you'll be back to yourself in no time. Does that sound good? Look at the sunset. We used to watch the sun go down together all the time. To tell you the truth, I was worried you'd never get a chance to do it again.
Perhaps all the sacrifices we made really were worth it. This one looks especially beautiful though, doesn't it? I can't see it. <laughs> Come on, it's starting to get cold. It's about time to get you to bed. God, why do they have to do that sound effect? I'm still outside? She just left me outside? This is some other shit. And all the lights are off again. Oh, it's funny because I am like literally playing a little kid that is turning all the lights on in the house all the time, wasting fucking mad energy because I'm afraid of the dark. And someone's turning them off behind me. God damn it. I should have looked for more light sources when it was light out. That's okay, I can probably sleep now. Ooh. There's my room, supposedly. You cannot sleep when some... You cannot sleep when someone is in your room. Who's in my room? I think I have a bedside table lamp. Oh man, it's her. Leanna, our angel. Just one more thing. I've had to do a lot of things that I have regretted, so please, no more. For the sake of this family. Sorry I had to bring down the mood before bedtime. Oh, it's okay if you hate me, it's normal for girls your age. I just really hope you enjoyed your first day back home. Get some rest. I'll tuck you in. Just like before. Is this really going to happen? You get into bed. And mother tucks you in just like before. Tuesday morning. I'm making sure that lamp is always on. That lamp is on. Okay.
It said my decisions affect the game. I believe. I am forbidden from entering mother and father's room. It's not giving me very many decisions to make though. You always need to use the toilet right when you wake up. You do not need to go. Yeah, right. Mirror's still boarded up. That's creepy. Let's go check on our really absent brother. You knock on the door. There was no answer. I am beginning to suspect that I don't have a brother or a mother or a family. Or even the father that was there in the beginning. She's probably downstairs making breakfast. Yep. This is so Coraline vibes. Oh, good morning, Leanna. I hope you're well rested. I may ask you to exert yourself a little more today. Yesterday evening I mentioned that I'd show you around the house grounds. Well, I've given it further thought. And I think we'll, we simply must do it. If there's any possible chance of getting your you your memories back, we need to take it. I think it's important for you to know what goes on here. What goes on here? Okay, I'd like you to meet me down by the place we watched the sunset last night. Okay. You're an insane person, but okay. Crap. Ah, you made it. This is our orchard. It means a lot to me. While you were in hospital, I became very lonely. I never got to see your father and your brother. He closed himself off entirely. What happened to me? Watching you in that hospital bed made me feel so powerless. This orchard became the one place where I felt I had control over what was happening. To have responsibility over the creation of life, it's a divine gift. A gift inherently infused with sorrow and failure. This is not good mothering skills. To look at this orchard, you do not... You don't see all the heartbreak that was involved in creating such beautiful life. Creating an environment where they can thrive and come into their own, it takes time. But once you get it right, you'll forget about the hardship that brought you there. This bitch is a light switch. She's like nuts and then like okay and then nuts and then okay. Spending your energy on helping them to grow only to have to dispose of the failure. That's where our hope comes in. And I have hope. I don't. Let's continue. Meet me at the path near the side of the house. There's a graveyard. Mother is waiting near the graveyard.
That looks like the graveyard. It looks like I'm closed off to it though. Look at all the beautiful birch trees. I hope this world isn't too big. I get lost easily. Oh shit, there she is. They do, they did a good job of, um, I'm all scared, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do is stretch it out. I think fire fell asleep. Let's see. The path behind me will take you to the graveyard. We keep the gate locked. I like to go in there every Friday evening, although I've been growing less fond of going in there lately. With the future as hopeful as ours, I don't feel the need to cling to the past, not anymore. It's time to move on, with our tour I mean. Meet me behind the house. There's one last thing I need to show you. Okay. You see that barn up there? No. <laughs> I truly hope you'll never have to see what's in there. Survival notice, do not enter the barn. That's a big survival notice. Come on, let's go inside, it's getting late. I wanna go to the barn. Hello? Can I go? Nope. This game really kind of railroads you, but I'm liking the story. Ooh, you can see inside the windows. That's neat. There she is. I'm just going to observe what is she doing? And the music's so weird. I don't know. Let's click. By the way, I've been meaning to ask, how was your father doing? You spoke to him when he drove you here on Sunday evening, didn't you? Ever since you got sick, he's just buried himself in his work. That is why I barely see him these days. He makes a quick visit every Friday night just to see how things are doing. 
So he's going to call on Thursday and he's going to visit on Friday. Oh, he's just so determined to make things right. Off to bed with you. Mother has left. Like, the house or... I'm really happy with the simple layout. Oh, fuck. I've thought of the most marvelous idea. Let's spend a day in the orchard tomorrow. We will get up bright and early and spend a day picking apples until the sun sets, just like we used to. What do you think? Oh, you always jumped at the opportunity. You and your brother used to love competing to see who could pick the best ones. Don't tell him I said this, but I always thought yours were the best. Are we ever going to meet my brother? Speaking of your brother, have you gotten a chance to speak with him at all? No. I'm certain that he's just as thrilled to have you home as I am. He just shows it in his own way. I hope you felt okay today. Anyway, get to bed. You're kind of in my way. Oh, you're so creepy. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, shut the door. It has been a long day, but now it is night and you must sleep to progress. You got it, Southwardsky. Do 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 Okay. Yes, fire is asleep. Um Southwardski, you've done this before. So if you have a question in your mind, just hold it there. And if you want a blank reading, just keep an open mind. And I'm going to do the three card spread for past, present, and future. They all have crowns on them. Ooh, hang on. I won't look, but aren't they cute? Past. Present. Feel like the future one's hiding on the bottom. All right, let's see. For past, you got stars. You can manifest your every wish. No, I don't know these by heart. 
It's time for you to take your goals and turn them into your reality. Create that dream board, wish on those shooting stars, write in a daily manifestation journal, cast a small or large spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve. Given that it's best for everyone involved, keep in mind that you also need to believe you that you deserve it. So that's for your past. For present, we have confidence. It comes with time and practice. I haven't pulled this card. It's a new one. Twenty three. So for the present, it seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and how freeing it feels. You wish you could just relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, it's all right. Confidence is not an instant or overnight evolution. Just like with everything else, it takes time, practice, and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. That's a good card. That's a really good card. Especially with social media. I feel like everyone kind of fronts on social media. And it looks like everyone has these perfect lives, but they definitely don't. Um, future. Raindrops. Take a chance on them. Thirty-nine... If anyone has a reason to keep their guard up, it's you. People have been known to mistreat you, and like any rational person, you finally got tired of it, went back inside, locked the door. But you weren't supposed to stay out of the rain forever. No matter how terrifying the prospect may seem, you need to put yourself out there again. Whoever it is you're thinking of, they can be trusted to walk with you through the storm. That's a good future card. What do you think about the reading? Do, do, do. PC. Okay. You cannot sleep when someone is in your room. Fuck. Where is she? Is she behind me? Is she under the bed? There's no one else in here. Right? How can there be anyone else in here? This is your wardrobe. It contains clothes. You cannot sleep when someone is in your room. Fuck that noise, man. I'm getting out of here. My card readings have been on point lately. I am not allowed to enter to his room. Damn, I'm not allowed to do a lot of stuff in this game. Bet she's making breakfast again. Yup. Coraline vibes forever. Good morning. Hope you're ready for a day in the orchard. Oh yeah. Better to start bright and early. If you head down there, there's a small shed within the trees. Make your way into that shed and I'll explain what to do. Oh, it'll be just like old times. Can't you just tell me about old times? 
There's breakfast on the table if you feel like you need it. Hmm. Part of me thinks she's poisoning me, but another part of me thinks that's way too obvious. Nutrients. Your favorite. You ingest the nutrients. Okay, let's make our way out to that shed. Now, where was the shed and where was the orchard and where was the things? Is that where it was? Nope. I'm getting better at this moving around thing. I feel like it was down through here. I feel like it was definitely somewhere around here. The shed. Is that a shed? There's the cemetery. Where's the shed? That's a shed. You picked up the apple basket. You are now able to pick apples. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> Every time. You found me. You're hard to lose. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time than to start? What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back and speak to me when it's noon. So I have to pick eight apples. You picked the apple. Cool. You picked the apple, so that's two. There's gotta be apples in here somewhere. Here we go. Three, five more. Go 
come on, have an apple. I hope they just kind of spawn. I think that's another one. Yep. You picked up the apple. I lost count of how many apples I have. I think it's four. Show me an apple. There we go. Five? Maybe? That one doesn't have an apple. Is that an apple? Nope. It's just a particularly red branch. I'm having a hard time finding the other apples. Ooh, there's one. That's six apples, I think. I thought that was an apple for a second. Should just need two more. Can't be that hard to find apples. There's bunches of trees here. Where are all the apples? To be fair, they all look like birch trees. If I've passed the apple, please tell me. I might just go back and see her and see how many apples I have. Where was she? She was in the shed. You found me. It's always so peaceful out here at this time. What better time to start a hard day's labor? If you get started now, you should be done by the afternoon. I think eight apples should be enough. Just pick up the basket in the shed. Come back, speak to me when it's noon. Okay. Wednesday morning. I have to find those other apples. I found one.
Wednesday morning. So I still probably need one more. This is so hard. Why is finding apples so hard in a horror game? I just want an apple. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking harder than Ryuk. Is that an apple? It might be. Come on, be an apple. It's not. I just need one more apple. There's got to be one around here somewhere. What's that? A scarecrow? No. Maybe. No. It's a tree. Does it have an apple? It doesn't. <sighs> Am I going to have to thoroughly inspect every tree? I'm going to go back and see her. I'm surprised you're on this late. Yeah. Me too. TBH. Damn it, I need one more apple. What time is it? Shit. I should go to bed. Hey, Sky High. I was lurking on your stream for a while. I had, actually, I still have your stream pulled up. It's offline probably now, though. Hey, everyone, if you haven't added Sky High Diaz, y'all probably should. They're playing uh, Little Nightmares 2 right now, and it's an adorable horror game. They're really good at it, too. I completed Little Nightmares number one.
but I got stuck on Little Nightmares number two. So that's where I'm at with those right now. And I'm being bested by an apple currently. Is that an apple? If that's an apple, I'm going to be so relieved. Nope. Nope. Not an apple. I'll play it again sometime then. I, I'd pick it back up if I had a buddy to help me walk through it. Man, I gotta find this last fucking apple though. I don't know where it is.